guys, it's Steph. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just coming in to show you what I picked up from Sprouts. And again, I don't put it in any order. This is just how it came out of the bag. I also had to stop in Publix and I'll show you that on the other side of the island. So they had some plant-based crab cakes. I'm so excited to try these. Um, I have used, well, I have good catches tuna packets in my pantry. I can't remember if I've used them yet. I did get this from um, the Good Catch tuna packets from uh, Thrive Market. So here is the ingredients list. So not too bad at all. And then I got some plant-based fish fillets. And let me show you the ingredients list for that. And I need to hurry because some of this stuff is starting to melt. And then some plant-based fish sticks. I'm sure they're all like, you know, pretty much the same thing. Here's the ingredients list, nutrition label if you want it. Um, some tomatoes, because I'm getting ready to make a, a vegan baked feta dish. I may have showed that on my channel before. Some oyster mushrooms, some more chocolate chips. I do a lot of baking. So I got um, some mini chips, some dark chocolate, and some chunks. So. That's all that is. Some celery. They also had some new things at Sprouts I hadn't seen. So, and I also hadn't seen the plant, the catch either, the good catch um, fish substitute. So this looks really good. And I really need bowls and things to carry to work. Um, you know, if I haven't cooked the night before, this is just something good to carry to work so I don't have to buy food anywhere. So I got red curry shrimp. Shrimp Alfredo. There's another one over there. I'll just show you the ingredient list here. It's pretty good. I won't show you all of them because I'm needing to put some. Well, that one has a lot of ingredients. But, I mean, this um, is, you know, it is what it is. It's just a quick microwave meal. So, um, I bought some basil, some micro arugula that I can put in, like, wraps or on sandwiches. Some more tomatoes for my dish. I never tried this before either. Um, it's living coconut yogurt. So I got a vanilla flavor and I got an original flavor. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing how these taste, please just comment below and I'm happy to review video. If not, I won't because, you know, no point in making pointless videos. No one watches. Um, so here are some bro broccoli and purple carrot bites. They kind of look like falafels, don't they? I'm excited to try this. And here um, is the ingredients label for that. I got some more of the, this is Amy's, right? I think this is Amy's. I feel like it is, but I can't. It looks like her um, colors, but no, this says immaculate. Okay. Um, this may not be Amy's then. So I got some biscuits. I love biscuits and some organic cocoa powder. I prefer cacao powder, but this is all I could find that I didn't feel like walking around sprouts all day. Um, cacao powder is of course the most natural, but um, all of the minerals and nutrients that you're getting from it compared to cocoa powder, because you know cocoa powder is heat process, tend to degrade once you use it in baking. So it's really best to use your cacao powder for like your more natural raw vegan treats and cocoa powder for when you're baking. Of course, um, do whatever you want, but in terms if you're trying to save money. Um, here are some spinach bites, and let me show you the ingredients for this. So all sorts of good things from Sprouts today. I got some baby spinach for my dish, some more oyster mushrooms, um, some vanilla wafers. I don't know, I just like to snack sometimes. Some grapes. Let me take you around this way. Some lemon snaps for my mom. My husband wanted these seaweed snacks. He likes the spicy ones, so I got him some of those. And then there's some more tomatoes back there, too. I can't remember if I... Um, this is some dairy-free strawberry lemonade frozen dessert or ice cream. I don't know why they can't just call it ice cream. No carrageenan. Yay! You know, guys, how I talked about the Sweet Earth um, hot dog. So I do not eat carrageenan. Um, and then here is this um, particular... Uh, this one is the Hawaiian shrimp. Now, looking at this ingredients label, 
nothing too crazy. There is caramel color, which I don't tend to like to eat, but it's at the very end of the ingredients label, and I don't have things with caramel color all the time, so, you know, it kind of is what it is. So shrimp, Alfredo, you saw that one over there. Um, this is from Publix. I just got some coleslaw because the other bag of slaw that I used, I use that to actually make coleslaw. Now I need just the shredded cabbage to make some vegan egg rolls. And I need some, needed some feta um, to make my baked feta pasta. I also got some Parmesan. Again, vegan. Vegan feta, vegan Parmesan. And then I got some more crescent rolls. And again, I really thought this was Amy's, but I guess this is the Sprouts immaculate brand they are they're still um dairy free i mean it says may contain milk ingredients when it says may or possible i don't stress about that i mean you know there's so many things to worry about in the world uh, you know as long as it's not particularly noted that it contains that i'm fine um this is from sprouts it's apple butter i got this for my mom or for my mom rather so here's the ingredients list on that Looks good. I'm looking forward to trying it with some toast. Some more vanilla e extract because, like I said, I did a lot of baking. And that came from um, Publix. No, that was Sprouts. Sorry. These two things are here, Sprouts. And then some tofu from Sprouts. And then this Violife feta was from Publix. Interesting. It's so interesting that Publix, um, that Sprouts doesn't have the Violife cheese. But they do have the Follow Your Heart Parmesan and feta crumbles. Some potato chips for my mom, but I will eat them as well. And then at Publix, I had these buy one, get one free. I was like, well, you know, that's a nice little bag, something to snack on. Um, I didn't go and see, you know, what other flavors they had. I might have liked the honey nut, but it was just kind of on the end of the aisle as I was walking by. So I just grabbed the cinnamon. All right, guys, um, that, this is my haul, nothing too crazy. You know, I'm always surprised at how much I have in my bags and then compared to how much I spent at the grocery store. It just feels like food is going up. But um, there's my little kitty cat coming in the house. Um, so, and my other one there. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you what I got. If you want me to come back and review any of the stuff that I bought, please comment on my video within the next day or two before I start eating some of this stuff. Um, if not, it's fine. You know, just watch the video and, and go and pick up some of these things if you're interested in that. Um, sorry about that. My cats were having a little spat, so I had to break that up. I just wanted to wrap up the video and just say thank you again for watching. Again, if there's something you would like me to review, please feel free to comment below. Um, if not, just, you know, use this as reference to some things that you can get and try and incorporate into your vegan diet. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.